And then I'm about to scroll down. Uh, as you can see, we have B, but B wouldn't sound good because it's only above the C, but above this uh, bass note. Let's hear it. Uh, sounds cool, maybe, but this is not what we are looking for. We need more down. We need to go more down. Instead, uh, and then I'm about to go on the G4 here. So let's hear it. Oh, maybe here. Maybe G sharp. Let's hear it. So I want to make this. So I'll repeat this, but I instead of this one, I just went one more down here. As you can see, there are one to the other. And, and I'm about to add more bass here. But now, since we changed this bass here from C, I'm just going to copy and paste this bass so on the same notes. So G sharp. Let's go down and let's go down. Okay, I think this has too much reverb in this one. Is there a reverb here? Yeah, I'm about to drag down and add my own reverb. So let's hear how this sound sounds like. Okay, now since I got these repetitive melodies, now I can do, I can add some counter or maybe chords, like for example, this one. So this is the octave chord. I went from C5 to C7, just maybe to add some higher pitch, high pitch notes. But if I add one more here, it's gonna be too much for me, in my, in my opinion. I just want to add this note here, one C, and maybe go down, maybe here. Or maybe here with the bass, but let's hear it. Mm, I want to try this. So I want to put note here. Let's repeat it. Like this. Great. This sounds super, super fire. Also, if this is uh, too repetitive, this part is too repetitive. So this is like our lead, lead melody. I can change a few notes here just to make it a little bit more dynamic. So let's hear it. So let's see what we can add here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe here. Okay, this sounds maybe cool, but maybe let's go back to C. Uh, this part here, this can be like a counter melody as well. So like I, I, what I can do, I can uh, copy this melody. Uh, now it's, this melody becomes a eight bar melody, but I'll delete this part here. And I'll just keep this main melody here as a uh, counter melody. So let's hear it. And then this part is going to be used in a verse, probably, and this part can be used in a hook. So we already got arrangement part. Okay, this is basically pretty much done. What I like to do in this type of melodies, I like to add some like a keys, some kind of a pads, just to fill this space, like I just to layer, layer the main note. So that's what I'm about to do. Also, in this type of melodies, uh, vocals always come good. Uh, as I said, uh, we didn't have like, I, I used the, some vocals for splice last time. We can just maybe use it one more time just to have that. Uh, uh, well, uh, example, how it's gonna sound like, but uh, just one sec. Just one vocals. Oh, you don't have to add vocals and stuff, but I think it's gonna be sound cool. But I just want to see how it's gonna sound. Mm. And let me just BPM. Okay, I found the BPM. 
and just find some. That's splice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Splice. Oh. You pull me in. Maybe this one. I'm not sure. It's C minor, I guess. Uh, I I don't use splice. Like I uh, I just had to use it to help my client for something, you know. But it's cool place to find on vocals, you know, to find by vocals, or maybe you can chop it by manually. But I think most producers are finding here, or maybe some like a free. I mean, like, I, I'm not sure, like, everyone has some kind of a girl or... Semantics. Semantics. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think that they have, like, a, some kind of... A, I don't I don't think they have, like, a producers who are singing for them. Maybe they are also doing something else. Loop masters. I knew somebody who was going to that's what That's where all my vocals come from. <laughs> and loop masters. You chase my heart and yeah. hit the brakes. That sounds good though, Makasa. Yeah, it sounds fire. So let's forget the vocals now. I just want to see how this is gonna sound like, but I want to add now for this type of melodies, I just like to add to fill that space, maybe add a couple of counter melodies or maybe counter piano. What I can do, I can just clone the main piano and just add a counter piano melodies, like, you know, like a, maybe something. Something like this. You don't have to like worry too much, but I want to like add maybe counter a high pitch note just to be like a bit different so they are also give them some kind of a power that sounds fun yeah man So maybe I just copy this paste. Oh, okay. I got some main melodies here. So I'll just also keep this one. So this this can be like also counter melody. Okay, I'll also keep this. I think it's pretty much enough. What I want to do now, uh, I got Diablo. Yeah, Diablo is fire. I use, I, I use to use it. I don't use it that much. I, th I don't think I even have it here, but it's cool i'll just use one fire like it's from nexus stock plugin uh, it's not stock plugin but it's stock preset uh, i think it's fantasy dream i got this chill zone here something like this i want to turn off this i want to keep maybe this or a maybe chill zone too some kind of a this and I just want to copy and paste, that's it. Maybe I want to pitch down, pitch up everything just to see how this will sound. Oof, it's too much, but let's turn the volume down. And of course we will have to use EQ because it's high pitched keys. But maybe let's do this a little bit. So I used EQ to, just to, as you can hear, and you can basically see the, the that the frequencies are 